Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to today's Life Focus. I want to talk with you for just a couple of minutes today and ask you the question, what needs repair? What needs repair? You know, driving in the car and as I'm on the highway, I hear this noise and I don't recognize the noise and it's amazing, isn't it? How when you're in your car and then you hear something and you know when that's from your car and you know when it's not normal. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I've got to call the repairman, take it in and get it repaired. Same thing as a parent. You can be in a store and you hear a child, you hear their voice or you hear a baby cry or something like that. And you know when it's yours and you know when it's not yours. It's just almost instinctively. And something needs to be repaired when you hear that voice or that child crying. And you're saying, what is it that needs, that needs attention so that they can be repaired and the crying will stop? Or it's like when you're at home and you're doing your laundry and all of a sudden you get this wild banging noise coming from the washer. And you know, all you have in there are just shirts. I got to call the repairman. Something needs repair. What about your relationship with Christ? What about... Now, what about the times when you are going through life and everything's going fine? Then all of a sudden, something happens. All of a sudden, something hits you. All of a sudden, out of the blue, your life changes. It shifts. It moves in a new direction. And you sit there and you say, Oh, my Lord, what has happened? I need repair. But isn't it interesting? Because in all of those cases... If I had done in many times preventative maintenance, if I had made sure the oil was chained at the right time, the tires were rotated at the right time, and everything else, chances are I would have prevented that repair. Same thing with the child. If I knew where my child was, if I could take care of their needs, the washing machine, if I checked it and I heard for maybe it wasn't doing the, the wash like it used to, as clean, maybe I can take charge and take care of that repair. Your relationship with Christ, you need repair. When was the last time you really sat down and talked to God? When was the last time you sat down and read the word? When was the last time you did praise and worship and really meant it? Not just put up your hands and go through the motions and, and that's about it. What repair do you need in your relationship with Christ in your life right now? Maybe some of the things that are happening in your life are happening because God is saying, my child, it's time for repair. It's time to get closer to me again. It's time to come back to me. It's time to let go of the world and fall back in love with me. Let me repair you. Let me fix you. Let me take care of you so that you can be repaired. You can be restored. You can be renewed. You see, God is a fantastic specialist in repairing damaged goods. I order something from the store and it comes and I did, uh, I ordered a, a new tank for my turtles and it came damaged. And I had to go through several steps to get it back, to get it returned, to get a refund and ultimately to get a new one, to get it fixed, to have it correct. You may have to go through some steps with the Lord right now because of the things that you've done. But you know what? God is, is there and he's saying, come my child, I will repair you. I will refund you what you've lost. I will restore you into what I have called you to be. And I will renew you and strengthen you so that you can be stronger, so that you can face the situations you're facing so that you can look at things and say, you know what? I don't need repair because 
I'm doing preventative maintenance. I'm praying every day. I'm reading the word every day. I'm in communication with God every day. And I'm moving to the destiny that he has created me to be. You're not damaged goods any longer. The Lord's repairing you. He's restoring you. He's renewing you. He's given you the refund. Take it and go forward. Thanks for listening today. I hope uh, today's message touches you. And I hope you'll do something. Write me at TonyRichardsSpeaking at gmail.com. My website is TonyRichards.net. This program will be uploaded to YouTube in about 20 minutes. Simply go to YouTube.com. Type in Tony Richards Life Focus. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about a couple of my books because I've had a number of people write me and say, how can I get your books? Which books do you have? How many have you written? So we'll talk about that tomorrow. But for today... Enjoy the rest of your day. Spend some time with the Lord. Get in repair mode. Get in renewal mode. Get into strength mode. Get into the mode that's going to help you to go forward. <laughs>